obviously I'm sure this hurts, um, but you guys made NBA history. You, you won six elimination games before tonight. What do you take away from this entire 82 day experience inside the bubble? You know, it was experience. It was something that we're all gonna remember whole life. That's nice. And uh, we're gonna remember whole life. You know, um, we had a really good group of guys. Uh, we, there was a lot of fight in us. Like we had, like you said, we had six elimina elimination games. We didn't want to quit uh, today. They were good. They were better. They were. Uh, they they won the game. LeBron was amazing. Uh, AD was uh, good. Is, uh, he he scored. He scored a lot of points. He he's a really good, um, a really good, a really big attraction to us. Like we need to think about him all the time. I think Caruso played well. Dwight Howard played well. So. I think everybody step up uh, on on their team, but I think we made a we made an interesting series. You know, if they made a, um, they beat us in the buzzer, then we won one game, then next game after that it was a close game. So I mean, uh, we made it we made it a series at least at least a little bit interesting. So I don't know what's your question actually it was. Yeah, it was a takeaways, great experience. Next, we'll go to Katie Wingy. Katie, go ahead. Nicola, you guys developed this reputation as the comeback kids, but what do you think you proved to the nation throughout this postseason run? Because we fight. I mean, that's something that uh, even today, we didn't, they were up 16, I think. We didn't quit. Uh, we didn't quit. We didn't throw the game away. Uh, and that's something that... Uh, it's going to be our mentality and our focus um, in the next years. So just don't quit, just keep fighting effort, and uh, just give yourself a chance to win the game. That's the only thing that we can ask. Next, we'll go to Om Young Maisuk. Om, go ahead. Nicola, congratulations on a great run. Um, obviously, no, Jamal was hobbled a little bit tonight, but what did you learn from Jamal in this entire postseason of everything he did? And, and uh, how do you and Jamal – take another step forward. You guys took one step forward this postseason from last postseason. What will be the, the next step forward for you guys next year? I mean, he's amazing. He's, uh, he's, he was our leader. His energy through whole playoffs. He, he was banged up. He was uh, injured before even uh, when, when I came here. He was a little bit banged up. He didn't play a couple games. He, but he, he's a dog. He's a fighter. He's a competitor. He's a... Uh, he's a... Uh, Amazing shooter. He's he he played amazing. He 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 was amazing. You know, since I, since when I came here five years ago or six years ago, we had a 33 wins I think uh, that season. So and today we were in the Western Conference Finals. So I think it's a uh, just thing to to think about it. You know, think, uh, just uh, the huge improvement that we have and. As a, as a, me as a player, as a group, as in the the whole organization, I think it's a, it was amazing. It, it was amazing um, improvement. Next, we'll go to Kendra Andrews. Kendra, go ahead. Nicole, following up on that, you know, in terms of just the improvement that you guys have made, how encouraged are you? by just having so much youth on your team and just being a group of young guys with a long future ahead of you? You know, I mean, I'm, we have a couple of guys that it, it's last year in their contract. I mean, depends. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm happy that uh, we know the way and uh, we show the way to the young guys how, how, how we need to play and how we need to look on the court, you know. So I think uh, that's that's the one thing that we can uh, we can point to the young guys. Next, we'll go to Joel Rush. Joel, go ahead. Hey, Nicola. Coming into this season, you may not have known too much what to expect from Jeremy Grant or Michael Porter Jr. What can you say about the growth of those guys, especially through the bubble? I mean, Jeremy. Jeremy was uh, guarding every single best player in their team, you know. So uh, he's a, uh, and today he was the best score. Was he? How much Jeremy scored today? Yeah. So he was uh, probably the best scores in in our team, 
and he was guarding the best players on their team. So that, that's that's really tough to do. You know, that's really something that you need to have a lot of uh, pride in yourself to defend, and then just still have energy and still uh, still have an effort to score. You know, so and Mike, Mike, he he was he, he I think he surprised. Probably a bunch of a bunch of the players, a bunch of the teams that uh, his shot ability and uh, uh, just how talented he is. But I think uh, I think it's a great experience for him too, just to see what does it mean. Like every ball matters, every possession matters. So I think he he learned a lot during this playoffs. We have time for one more question. We'll end with Katie Wingy. Katie, go ahead. Nicola, how much pride does this team take in being a team that has been built from the ground up? So many of you were drafted late, a couple guys undrafted. It's very unlike other teams in the NBA that have made it this far. I mean, maybe that's why we, we didn't quit uh, at Utah Series. Maybe that's why we didn't quit in a ser Clipper Series, you know, so because we are nobody. We are just uh, someone who are uh, who we who uh, who work to be here, you know. So some of us didn't play our first two se for a season or two. So we we know what what is the feeling of working hard for something and uh, working uh, and not uh, and, uh, and not playing. So when you play Master Quantum Finals, you you know how big it is, you know. So. All right, Nicole, that will do it. We appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This was my pleasure, like always.